hello guys welcome back to the vlog and a vlog that's not in slow-mo i'm making sure yeah <laughs> i'm pretty sure we're not in slow-mo but i will check after i film this clip in order to make sure oh i'm just sitting outside i have to get 15 minutes of vitamin d every day which i do um but i was gonna go on the walk a uh, walk this morning uh, but i didn't and i should have but I was like caught up. It's the end of the month, <laughs> you know, I just like got caught up. And I just took my uh, little TikTok kind of transition that went from 16 weeks to 28 weeks with a little sound. I'll put it in the screen, but you can follow me over on all the things, TikTok and Instagram to see it. I cannot believe how much bigger I am. Like at 16 weeks, I was like, wow, I'm getting big. Well, not really that I was getting big at 16 weeks, but I definitely felt my body changing and my stomach changing. And it was growing because 16 weeks was already three, three and a half months or so, or more than, what is that, four months? Oh my gosh, it's wild. Time has like literally flown. It's almost April. By the time you're seeing this, I'm actually 29 weeks, which is crazy. Officially, when you're seeing this, the second episode of the kitchen renovation is out. <laughs> And they are not working today. Um, we're in a kind of, uh, not a standstill, but we're in like a lull. My contractor and stuff isn't working today. We, we're gonna have kind of tradesmen coming in and out, more specialty stuff, because they've done a lot of the work up front. So now we're waiting on some things. Let's, let's go in there. I don't have to keep it a secret anymore. It's very exciting. Kinsley. I can also probably open it back up, which is good. I, I It was raining, so I, I put the plywood here so that um, it wouldn't rain inside, but I can probably take them down now. I also want to take this rotten guy down today. That's kind of like one of my plans. I'm kind of like working my way around the house, finishing stuff. So bad, but I'll wait for Romeo because it's full of dirt and it's kind of heavy. All my roses are growing. They're about to start budding, I think, especially these. Look at these. You see those buds? It makes me so happy. This garden makes me so happy. All the pink is blooming too. So exciting. Welcome to the future kitchen. I'm gonna keep the doors closed. So there'll be a lot more sunlight in here, obviously without all of that blocked off. And I mean, the skylights, you can see the skylights let in light and stuff. So we're kind of to a point in this renovation where we're waiting on custom items to be made. So waiting on custom doors for here, that's why there's plywood. They're not gonna do the stucco repair on the outside until we get the doors, you know? Cause so instead of like working like, oh, doing a small thing, they'll come a day and they'll do a small thing and then they'll be done for the day or they'll do a small thing. They kind of like are grouping the things together, you know? So they're gonna come and do lots of stuff within like a two to three day span. And then there's gonna be another like lull, which is excellent because it gives us kind of like our calmness back in our lives, you know, where there's not like people coming and going every day, just doing one or two things, um, which I really, really like. So they did so much work in the first three weeks that we're now ready to just do those little small things while we wait for the doors, the cabinet boxes to be made, things like that, appliances to come in, all of that type of stuff. So it's really, really exciting. We get to start picking the pretty stuff, stone, appliances. You guys will see us go shop for appliances. There's, It's gonna be really, really exciting. I'll show you like electrical and all of that type of stuff. If you haven't seen episode two, it's a good one. I mean, I sent a drone up to get footage. Exciting. We got beams installed that are almost 300 pounds. Exciting. Like you have to go watch it. I'm so excited for this series because it's giving me that renovation feeling that 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 the, the, the work that I crave to do myself. It's giving me the all the excitement and the I get to make all the decisions and the design and everything. I'm um, just giving me that, that excitement, even though because it's a baby, I can't do much. You know, we're keeping it safe over here, but I still get to do all this fun stuff. Excellent, you know, so it's going really well in here. It's going like really really well We're like on track if not ahead of schedule We're just kind of waiting on those like few things. We still have everything blocked off like this is the entrance to our living room and It's blocked off so that we make sure that 
Kinsley was break, breaking through like the plastic and it was like a whole situation. And it keeps it a little quieter from the rest of the house with this in this up while they're working. So today I really want to work on some of the things in the house that I want to complete and check off my list. I want to do some caulk work in the bathroom, also paint part of the stair way that we did. Here's here's the thing. Here's the reality of DIY projects, especially when you share your projects online and you have a schedule that you have to stick to and a demand for new projects and new videos things don't always get completely finished and it's just how it is and it aggravates romeo to no end i feel like if there's one thing that he wishes i would be better at is actually going back and finishing those projects and i think the baby is pu pushing me to make that list and actually do it because most of the time it's very minor it's like just that last little touch that needed to be done on a project to like completely finish it. And I had to move on because I didn't have enough time and I had to edit the video and run a business and you know, like all of that stuff. And it's like, it becomes such a low priority that he's like, just go back and finish it. I'm trying, I, you know, it's just part of the process. I think I saw another a creator like post something about it. It's like finally going back and finishing the projects. It's just the reality of like, of how it is it's just like a lower priority so we are tackling some of those things today because they're on my list to finish before the baby comes because i don't want to look around at like projects that are unfinished like the back of those arches and the painting in the hallway of the stairs and the caulking in the bathroom and it's like those types of things if i just finish them we are going to tackle that today i'm seeing another project that i'd like to tackle it's like an old cord that they had probably the previous owners had like a, a satellite dish. I think, I think I took it down. Uh, they had some kind of, I don't system. I don't know what it was. And they had like a landline. Well, I don't have a land. No one has. I don't. Do you have landlines still? I haven't had a landline. I haven't had a landline in any place that I've lived. We just have our cell phones now. It's an old cord that's screwed in all the way up there. All and it goes all the way around the eave here. And it's hanging right here because of all the demo that we've done <laughs> and it's aggravating me so we're gonna do that let's do that first because i need to go get my drill anyways some of this i could probably pull because it's just like stapled oh yeah oh. <laughs> and then these are screws you know i've always said this but like houses are living things it feels like it's like they need constant upkeep and care and it got me thinking about my grandparents during my grandparents' house they built it uh i believe they were in their 20s and they've lived there it's the only house they've ever lived in and they have lived there over 60 years no yeah 60 years maybe and their house is like in Impeccable. Like they keep up with everything. Things deteriorate over time. Nothing's meant to really last forever, although there can be quality, more quality things. But with attention and care and stuff, a house can last a long time, but it kind of always needs something. And as long as you're paying attention to it and not expecting, you know, it to last your whole life, it's easier to maintain. You know, you're just like, okay, well, we gotta fix it. You know, and think about it like it's just something you have to do instead of just being like, why is this happening? It should last forever. I hear people talk about that sometimes. I'm like, eh, what lasts forever? It doesn't last forever. This plant is doing so well. I turned it around so that this would start growing on this side but it's do doing so well in the shade. Plant in sun or part sun. The ones that I put in the sun died out. Like I couldn't keep them hydrated enough maybe, but it does so well. And it rains, so it's so pretty. I love the idea of having, you know, a flower box out the window because I'm gonna work on these windows and I, because I want them to open. And it would be nice. I need something that can grow in the shade obviously because this this side of the house doesn't get anything like it'd be nice to like open your window and grab the herbs but will it get enough sun i see that's all research i have to do this rotten one look at it it's so bad and it's heavy once i once i unscrew it it's gonna be heavy Gensley, don't fall in the pool 
you didn't, but it's a good thing we taught you to swim. It wasn't very hard. You're pretty smart. I can't see the screws. I can't find them. How'd they attach this? You're the keeping box? this? You're not keeping no. this? Okay. But I don't want to ruin the wall. But they're going to fix the wall anyway. Yeah. So I gotta Grab the crowbar? Here? Yeah, but like. How? Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I told you it was rotten. That was gonna happen any yeah. day now. Oh. Well, there it is. Oh my gosh. Okay. Still, how is that attached? Do you see any? So that was gonna fall any day now, anyways. It was like that bad. Oh, I see it now. Oh, there was nails. Oh, here's the nail. Well, we'll scoop up the soil and I'll repurpose it into the garden. Probably just scoop it in over there. I'm gonna get started on the bathroom. We're gonna do <laughs> our projects. <laughs> but I was just on TikTok. <laughs> and I've seen it before, but I didn't ask ask you if you if you would do it with me. Kinsley, hush. It's a broom challenge. I'm gonna <laughs> challenge Romeo to it. Kinsley, relax. So you're just gonna take, and I'm gonna do it pregnant. Okay. So it's even adding a whole nother layer of struggle on my part. But I think you got this. I think you can do this. Okay. So you're gonna put the broom uh -huh. wherever you want to put it, uh -huh. like, like down here, whatever. Uh huh. And you're going to step over it uh -huh. with both feet and pull it up. Okay. I just, I'm 29 weeks pregnant. <laughs> so okay. Okay. <laughs> I think you Is got it. I think it's crazy. I think you like got this? it. Okay. <laughs> See? Uh oh. <laughs> See? <laughs> what? I don't get it. What was so hard about it? I don't know. Guys on TikTok can't do this. <sighs> I knew you uh, <laughs> Wait, I was kind of hoping uh, they couldn't because it would have been funnier if they couldn't. Uh, it was actually kind of a struggle for me in my belly. Anyways, welcome to. Our bathroom. You guys obviously know we did a bathroom makeover. A pretty drastic one that didn't involve any um, renovation in this bathroom because I felt like it had potential, it just wasn't there. So we did quite a lot. One of the amazing things that we did in this bathroom is that we painted the cabinets to look like wood and they really look like wood and they're really holding up. I do wish that I would have, like just for longevity, I do want to do a sealer coat on it. I didn't at the time, but it ha we haven't had any issues with it at all. And these were painted blue before, dark blue. And the retique, I used a, a material called retique it, and it's like made with shards of wood, like paper, and you paint it on and then you can stain it whatever stain color you want. And just so cool. But I think if I add a layer, I'm really careful about the chemical that I use on the doors when I actually like clean. But I think if I go ahead and seal it, it's gonna make it more durable and last a really long time. But you can see it looks really good. I probably should clean that. See? It's like really, really good. That was one. I added more molding to this um, mirror. We changed out the light and we put down this flooring in here. Uh, this was, was this peel and stick? I can't remember if this was peel, it, it, it's possible it was peel and stick, but I also used an adhesive because I had no intention on taking it up. And if we are ever gonna take it up, it means that we are ripping out the bathroom <laughs> and all this white tile. But I really tried to do the design like and incorporate the elements that were here so that I could update the style and it, I liked it more obviously and it looked a bit, the style that I wanted it to go with without having to do major demo. We totally did that. But one of the things that I wanted to do to this floor, which isn't, I, I don't think a lot of DIYers do, but I think it makes it look better. And I just never went back and did it. It's one of those things that just like didn't get done was actually put a, a layer of silicone or caulking 
around the edges. So in the in the crack between the tile and this new floor that we cut, because as precise as I could be with all the angles, because I chose to do this on a diamond pattern instead of a straight pattern. So it let, left more room for error in cutting within a certain degree. There's no huge gaps or anything, but it would just look a lot nicer. And so Romeo has <laughs> been after me to do it. He's like, are you gonna put it down or are you gonna put it down? And I think it's necessary. So when I, while I can still get down here on the floor with my baby bump, we're gonna do it. But he even offered to do it at one point, but it's like, like a pretty precise thing. In, in order to do it and make it look really clean, you have to put tape down on the top and the bottom. Basically, you're only leaving an exposed portion where you want the silicone to be so that it's super clean. Silicone's good for like wet applications, and obviously this is a bathroom, but around the drop-in sink that we did in the kitchen, I also did a silicone kind of like layer and it just helps like water doesn't like seep down, you know, in between cracks and things, but also I wanted it to be very specific. So I used tape. It's important. So we got to do tape first, but we've already cleaned and I'm just going to wipe it just to make sure that no dust or anything gets in the, the silicone and the tape sticks really well. Hi. Always wants a piece of tape. If I give it to her and I ball it up, it's gonna be her favorite thing. Take it to dad. Go take it to your dad. Go take it to your dad. <laughs> she doesn't do it. So cute. <laughs> okay, let's do this. I'm just overlapping just a little bit. It's gonna give it such a cleaner edge. Okay, so see how there's only a small section that's left? That's what we want, because that's the only place we want the silicone to actually go. Onto the new flooring part to make it even, and then up onto the tile a little bit. So that's all we need. And then I gotta do all around the wall around the toilet and also the toilet bowl. That was actually the hardest for me to do, like that area there. So that's gonna have the largest kind of silicone kind of like portion, and then just right here in front of the shower. want the tape to stick to the silicone so you don't want to wait till it dries you want to kind of take it up right away you're just using it as a guide um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick this side up and kind of work in sections so that I can keep picking it up because I think this dries in like 30 minutes or so think of it as like a ruler <laughs> it's like you just need it for a little bit of time you just remove it Okay, so now you can see that it creates that clean edge. It's shiny right now because it, it just went down, it's still wet, but you see how it kind of just like makes like a seamless look there? I wish they had it like slightly not so bright white, <laughs> like a little bit down, but you know, I think it looks a lot cleaner than just like kind of like jagged edges, so to speak. It makes it look more polished and finished. Oh my gosh, I can think of so many things that I <laughs> would have rather do than do all this work. Look at all the tape, because I had to make it a circle. It was just so much harder with uh, with carrying him in front of me. <laughs> okay, let's silicone.
Okay, all of the edging is done. I mean, I hope it looks better. I think it does. It definitely looks more, you know, polished around the edges. Kinsley, don't step back. Pretty decent. It's all done all the way around the toilet. Oh my gosh, that took so much out of me when you crawl around. Like It's the same when you do like baseboards, like caulking around baseboards and stuff. It's just like crawling around on the floor, especially with a baby bump. It's like, <sighs> it took me a lot longer than I thought it was going to. So that's done, can be checked off my list, but I do want to paint the whole. I don't know if it's too dark now. It might not be any sunlight. Let me, let's go see if there's enough light. If not, if there's not, I'll have to do it another day. Six o'clock now. Yeah, I can see. It's that, you see that right there? Right there, right there. I gotta paint that. Let's see if I can reach it with my feet on the ground. If not, I'm gonna have to wait for Romeo because I don't, I problem, I, I don't get on ladders anymore. Especially not ladders on stairs. That would be so dumb. See, I can't, I can't reach it. I wanted to do this part here, just to the corner. <sighs> At least I don't have to bend over. At least I can stand up. <laughs> that, that's actually really good. Okay, we need, this color is Sculptor Clay. I hope I had extra and I'm pretty sure I did. Okay, I think it's right, I think it's this one. Yeah, sculptor clay, eggshell. I did the living room in egg, oh God, a lot more paint in there than I thought. I did the living room in eggshell. Um, and sometimes I, I pick between like, for, for non like wet rooms, like not bathrooms and not trim, I tend to do either flat, so it has like no sheen or eggshell, which is like a step above. I don't like it like too shiny on the walls. I did our bedroom flat. Like it's like really matte because darker the color, the lower the sheen for walls. But for trim, I always up that a little bit for durability purposes and for like kitchen cabinets, I up the durability. So I up the sheen and for bathrooms, up the sheen. Kind of like my rule of thumb. And paintbrush. 